Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We are finally getting off of Keel Hall Key. Cortez is actually a pretty nice and agreeable fellow, so we can use his ship anytime we want to to go from Rogue Port to Keel Hall Key anytime we want. So, a way to backtrack just in case you missed anything. Well, yeah. And knowing this game, you definitely have missed things. Yep, off we go to the sea. But... These folks are gonna stay here, including, uh, Papatch. Well, okay. I mean, this is their... These two, they have their romantic getaway here. And... Papatch is here to, you know, help blow things over, just in case. And he's right, it's a nice place when it doesn't have any ghosts in it, so, you know, perfect. Alright, let's set sail back home to Rogueport to familiar waters! <laughs> yeah! I, I can't wait for you to pull into Rogueport and everybody's just like, Oh, that's a ghost! Oh, the sails are transparent, too. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end. Ah? Uh, the ship sailed smoothly on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes, rubies! Sapphires! Emeralds! Okay, that was Flavio's diary. Now it's been confirmed. I can hear the crowd screaming in the background, It's a ghost ship! Y y y yes, thank you, Flavio. We we've got a lot to do, actually. <laughs> that is so many toads. I take the time to actually leave out the back, you know? Holy nice touch. crap! Yes, I'm anxious to continue my own adventure. Please stop talking so I can leave. I wanna leave! I wanna leave! We got no time! Got places to go, people to see, a thousand year doors to open. Dude. We can call up a pirate captain and be like, yo, let me use your boat. We're friends with the pirate captain, isn't that... S it's just so badass. Especially only, Mar like, o only Mario can summon the curse of a, you know, a thousands-year-old pirate and befriend him. And also, you're, like, on good speaking terms. Like, you're not cursed or anything. You're just like, hey, what's up? Hey, where? Hey, man. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, yeah. It's Peach's do, do, email. Do, 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 do not open the door. Not open the door. Uh, not open the door. There's Mario, a demon. I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. Uh, by cooperating with this tech, I managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. That is strange. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I kind of find it weird that the computer is actually has a gender, but. Tech is weird. He called me Milady once, and I don't know if I can trust him yet or not. <laughs> Get out of there! Also, he makes he makes videos of My Little Pony on the internet. I don't know if I should... Well, do I people guess still do okay. that. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Luigi. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, another story. All right. Jazzafraz time. Oh, that sounds fun. Tell me about that Jazzafraz. Want to hear what happened? Yeah, I want to hear about it. Let's do it. Jazzafraz Town. All right. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and, and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for <laughs> actors to go on stage with him. Oh, I told shoot. him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama plaque might, in fact, be one of the parts. 
Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I really, I was, I, I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me yes. had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans! My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me! I just couldn't believe it! Imagine! Cheering for grass! I was ecstatic, bro! After that, I added the piece of the Marvelous Compass which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair! How you soothe me! I would be grass for you! <laughs> I will find you, I will reach you, I will stand by your side and be your Luigi! <laughs> wow, sorry about that, bro. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. Uh, I came back to Roadport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed! <laughs> I will be your grass! <laughs> Step on me! Mow me! <laughs> oh, Luigi's into some weird shit, dude! Oh my god, that, that was so funny. It's good to know he actually has a companion that actually likes him. Oh my god, that was so funny. Luigi, you're the best. So if we sail along this here, we get to go to a secret part of the docks. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. That's cool. Gotta love secrets, am I right? Mm-hmm. What we have here is TV and a chest. With an HP drain! Drops by attack by one, but regains one HP per attack. That's not, good. That's not good. That's alright. Got, got a star piece, though. Anything that drops my attack, I do not want any part in it. Well, okay. So, uh, I want to ask you something before the topic goes away for a bit. Do you think all of Luigi's adventures are ideas that didn't make it to the final game? I don't know. It'd be cool if that was the case, but I, I think it's just a fun little side story. If they ever bring Paper Mario to Switch, they need to have that as deluxe content. Just have all of the Luigi stuff on the side? Yes. And... Uh, oh. Got an email. Okay. Email Sa save that topic for later. Gear and... Get, yeah, important things. Mail SP. Oh, it's just issue four. Uh, road for today, dust today. Uh, Gomez, age 40, known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. <laughs> As for comment, Gomez stated, Well, I just really, really love flowers, and I was hanging out, and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. Call I'm me so grass! Shamed. Citizens of Rogueport responded with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. <laughs> Shop reporter, go! This time we introduce God. the Twilight Shop. Whoa. Watching the husband and wife proprietors of this shop at work is a heartwarming sight. But don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife, says the jovially jealous shopkeeper. Wow. I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth aren't going to change that. <laughs> well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We press the shopkeeper for further comment, but regret that his words are unprintable here. Jesus. But we did learn from the little missus that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show her this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points over on any purchase. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm not gonna spend... You know, by the time we get there, it'll be 16 minutes. Cooking for rookies. All right, my little rookies, we're on to an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is a healthy salad. Just slice up a turtle leaf and a horsetail, mix them together, and you're done. Great for dieters. Then that's it. Wow. Ah, oh, I gotta love flavor text. So tasty. All right. Mm, delicious let's flavor. Go, let's go to the door and take care of the star. What do you say? Okay. Well, uh, while we're on the way to the door, I've got I've got something that's been on my mind when it comes wait. to like. No, oh, wait. This Destiny. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a pretentious sign. <gasps> Ooh. Show me a sign. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. <gasps> Extra content! Yeah! So we gotta do a little bit of backtracking, but we'll do that a little bit later. We gotta do, first and foremost, the Thousand Year Dar store. Yes! But first, power, let's go ahead and power, power me up, up our baby. Allies. Yeah. <laughs> I foresaw you coming in. Oh, really? Did you? 
powering up Bobbery again. And we're gonna Open. miss Flurry again. Open your third eye, Mario. Here we shall become more powerful with Shine Sprites! Hey, wait a minute, didn't Mario go to jail for stealing Shine Sprites? Well, this time he's, uh, borrowing them. Well, all right. I mean, he didn't- he didn't steal all the ones in the entire city. That's- that's a jailable offense. All right, that's a good point. Anyway, I want to throw an idea at you. What do you got? You know how every now and again when Nintendo re-releases a game, and, uh, you know, they add extra content to it? Mm-hmm. Do you think they just shelve all the program files so they might be able to work on it again later? Probably Ooh. for a little while. Hello. This is Chet Ripo's Adjustment Hacks. <clears throat> if you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks... What? Pay 39 coins, you can do it. Ooh, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take some adjustments, sure. Ooh. Uh, Whoa, yeah. uh, really? Yeah, go ahead and up my BP, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. hell yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, ah. Nope, nope, nope. I, all right, I we're done, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, that's kind of cool. So take from one to add to another. If I, ac if I accidentally leveled up uh, my health too much and now I have no flower points, I could readjust that. While we're here, let's go ahead and shop for some star pieces, things, or whatever. What All right, we got 19. Let's go. Let's get one of the more expensive ones. Power plus. Flower saver. Eh, I'm going to go with power plus. Need it six costs. match points, but uh, I think Ooh. we can level up a couple times, and that'll uh, really make us strong eventually, so. Yeah, I dig that. I dig that. Oh, All right. wow. Never succumb to a first strike? That's amazing! Why didn't we get that? Because it probably takes badge points that we need to preserve. Well... Still, that's a really bitchin' badge. That's the thing about, uh, uh, about the badge system. You can, like, do anything you want. There are several viable builds that you can have for Mario. Oh, jeez, these are new enemies. Magic Koopas. What are they doing around here? So where do you think it's going to be this time? Um. Well, there's one chapter I've heard of that we haven't reached yet, so... Maybe we'll reach that one next. Maybe it'll still be here in Rogueport, I don't know. Loading. Ah! Let's see. Where the hell is that? Hmm. Well, let's ask the professor and find out. Okay. Looks like we're going to a coliseum. Oh god, I don't. I do not need another tournament arc. Tournament, tournament. Poshly Heights. So we're going to the rich part of town. So this is going to be the easiest star yet. Okay. All we gotta do is just go there and pick it up. Oh, really? That's it. What's the catch? There's no catch. We just gotta go over there. We, 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 we ride a train. We take a train to Poshley Heights. Oh, damn. And then we just go over there and we get the star. It'll be a cinch. <laughs> See? It'll be a cinch, you say. I mean, getting a getting a ticket's gonna be the trickiest part, but all we gotta do is just take like get a ticket, hop on the train, go to Poshley Heights, go to the Sanctum, and get the star. 
There's no dungeons, no monsters, no plot twists or anything like that. It's just go there and get the star. Easy, right? Yeah, big bang bosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the more you say that, the more I don't believe you because I think I know what's going to happen next. I think I know, know what's going to happen next. But uh, I have no idea what actually happens during it. I just know the scenario setup. Well, we got so, a uh, couple of things to do first before we uh, talk about getting the. Uh, we talk about getting that. First, we got to talk about that little mystical sign that Merlin, the guy who upgrades us, had. Merlin. <laughs> So Did he gonna say, have... uh, Hooktail's Keep, I think? Yep, we're gonna, we're going to Hooktail's Keep, and I'm trying to remember where exactly that is. Oop, come on, come on, there we go. How long will it take you to find Hooktail's Keep? I, I remember, it's, it's over here. <laughs> I like how Paper Airplane Mario just sticks in the wall. And he comes out unscathed. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that's already a shine sprite, you know, good, good already, and. <laughs> you know, I see now how I'm supposed to get over there. I, uh. I, under I understand now, and Yoshi's not the way to do it! Nope! Oh, wait, what? I thought that was the way. Nope. I see now the way to do it, and we can't do it until. Later on, and when we come back from getting this uh, this crystal star, actually. Really? Yep. Well, that's kind of silly. Here's your hint. You can't see it now. Oh. Is there something like in the background we need to pull from there or something so, like that? Yeah, something like that. But don't worry about it right now. But here's a little uh, skip you can do for this. Okay, that's pretty neat. <laughs> All right. Crossfade will go to Hooktail's Castle. And here we are in Hooktail Castle. Uh, the only hint they gave us is the place where we got cursed. And I'm trying to think back. Where was that again? It's not here, obviously, because we had to get cursed to get to that part. So, right. so I remember, it's to, remember that the curse was turning thin in the first place. So. Yeah, is it back in back of the castle? So keep going this way. It's behind the stairs, I think he also said. Yeah, the reversible stairs, which we just passed. <laughs> yeah, here it is. <laughs> These are the reversible stairs, so we just gotta go beyond there. Keep going on, I suppose. Now you can become thinner! Ooh! Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do that and... Wait, that closes automatically, I remember. We need to get our old buddy Coops out. Oh, I'm back! Mario, don't ever put me in your pocket again, man. Fuck! Wait, couldn't we just turn thin and go through that? I guess we could have, but I didn't think of that. Oh. Wait. This door? There's nothing here. Has that been there the whole time? Yeah. This is the spike the spike trap, remember? <laughs> no. Bring up the black key and... It, it's been a million... Oh! 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 Blow it up, old man! What's beyond here? A new party member! Oh. What the, the hell? That contains an up arrow! What? An up arrow? Well, let's head back to Rogueport. Yeah, an up arrow. What does that do? Head back uh, to Rogueport. Head back to Rogueport. Here we go. We're heading back to Rogueport. No. Yeah, here's your up arrow. What does it do? Why, it goes up, sir. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Ah, uh, it goes up. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Ultra Stone. Uh. We can power up our allies a second time now. What? No way. Yeah. Yeah. 
Which means Flurry's still not getting that upgrade. Aw, oh, come on, man. Let her blow better. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade best girl, Goombella. After considering it for a bit. Oh, it still costs three Shine Sprites. Man! Which, that's good. I, I thought it was gonna be, like, five. Alright, so how much are we getting powered up by this? You know how she does three per bonk? Mm -hmm. Now it's four. Oh, cool. She's also got a power that can let us attack twice. Basically, she spends FP to make us take her turn for her. Oh, nice. There's one more thing I wanted to check. Ah, uh, you actually want to try this guy out? We tried upgrading uh, ourselves. We didn't like how that went. Uh, what about our partners? Like, what if we were to oh. upgrade, like, Yoshi or something? And we gotta drop someone's rank. It, it, yeah. Interesting. No. You can't drop <laughs> Flurry anymore? That's, that's, that's not doing it. <laughs> oh, wait, technically... Oh, wait, no, that was for upgrading. Okay, well... Oh, why don't you want to upgrade so, Flurry? Because I don't use her. But what if you had to? If I had to, I'm fucked. <laughs> but I don't have to, so I'm not. Okay. That's fair, I guess. Alright, now let's talk about getting a ticket. Okay. Uh, get a ticket. Let's get a ticket to hop on the express. To go to Pashley Heights. To get our sixth star. It's gonna be but easy, bro. Uh, ex Easy. Except we gotta talk to Don Pianta. Yeah. So let's go talk to Don Pianta. Uh, are we gonna have to rat out his daughter again? Let's go talk to Don Pianta. <laughs> Just keep saying it. Don Pianta. Oh, wait, that's a bubble wall. Wait, that's a bubble wall. Go back. Go, go I'll, back I'll, past UDJ. I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> go back. We'll get it on our way out, or on our way back in, because he's dying! What?! No! Aw, he's sick with loneliness. Now we gotta go, uh, find the newlyweds again. Man. What? Why not? We gotta talk to the boss for that. We can take the boss to see him. All you gotta do is talk to my scary pirate captain. You know, I really like how this game rounds stories out. I know, right? Like, it starts a topic, continues the topic, lets it breathe, goes back to a topic, and then finishes a topic. Solid writing. Alright, let's go, let's go to Keel Hall Key and find those guys. Bomb the wall. Bomb the wall. Bomb the wall. Take out Don Shop. Take out Don Shop. No! We'll get it on the way back, don't worry. Okay. That's fair. This feels like a lot of uh, backtracking again, but it's okay. It's okay. Go up to Cortez and say, Hey, yeah, can I borrow your boat again? I've got a, a dad who misses his daughter. Sure. Nothing be worse than a home than a lovesick <laughs> father. I'll help ye. Aw, thanks, Cortez. I didn't know you had such a heart of gold. Don't even need context. He just it's like, let's go then. Off we go. <laughs> I think this is just like what he does on his weekends. He just loves sailing that much. 
It's like, oh, hey, yeah, Cortez, uh, we need to uh, sail to the grocery store. He's like, all right, let's go. Yeah, we could sail us to Poshley Heights, but where's the fun in that? Oh, it's too easy. Also, it takes multiple days to get to Keelhaw Key. Too bad the boss is dead already. Oh, well, we tried. Here we are, once again, back at Keelhaw fucking Key. It's like we never left. Do, 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 do. Oh, newlyweds. The boss is almost at the pearly gates. So can we get the fuck out of here? To save his the life. Wait, where are they? They just like gone or? There they are. Oh, hey. Yeah, about that. They lost the wedding ring! Oh no! How do you drop that off that big nubbin you call a hand? Because I gotta admit, not fingers. Well, alright. So this leads to one of my favorite jokes in the whole game. <laughs> uh oh. No way. We're gonna have to say... We gotta say we love her a hundred times? No way. And they're actually gonna do it, too. <laughs> nope, we gotta do it 99 more times. <laughs> so get, get to it, lover boy! <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 Mash that A button, dude! <laughs> Mash that A button! <laughs> <laughs> it keeps count! <laughs> oh, and you can't escape it, can you? Oh, you gotta do it a hundred times. You got off easy. Violet makes you do it 500 times before we have to leave. I mean, for huh. the sake of comedy, that was pretty good, but in any other context, <laughs> that would be a colossal waste of time. <laughs> Let's find that ring. <coughs> uh, yeah. Well, oh, you, more you think? backtracking. Here we go. You, you think we should help out, Goombella? Really? We can get Yoshi here to help things go a bit faster. I can't believe Damn it! Ugh. I can't believe Mario is making this young little Yoshi carry him the entire time. I don't mind. Is it just like in a Yoshi DNA to always carry a big Italian man? It's been ingrained since 1991. I mean, they're born with saddles these days. Oh, well, that's true. I isn't there um, official artwork of Yoshi without his saddle? I think, like, some old concept art. Like, I think back when the original Mario Brothers was, like, first made, Yoshi was still an idea that Miyamoto had. And he had this drawing of Mario on Yoshi at his desk for, like, years. I think there's also a picture out there, uh, like, official work of, uh, of Yoshi without his shoes on. <laughs> And I don't want to imagine... Not making that mistake again. <laughs> I don't want to imagine Yoshi with, like, toenails. <laughs> it's There's just a pow awful. block that I got in Hooktail Castle, so it sucks. <laughs> but! <laughs> oh, well, it's... It's making roars, I guess. That worked out. Also, I, I don't know why I know all these Yoshi facts, but... Isn't Yoshi's official last name Munchakoopas? <laughs> I, I don't know, but... What? Run! That's not what I wanted to do! Wow, you got confused. Oh, well. 
and watches Mario just toss his money into the sky. Behold, Mario of the 1%. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going for speed here. Alright. Do it right, Yoshi. Come on. There you go. Off we go. <sighs> now where's that so, stupid ring? It's all the way inside the Pirate's Grotto. Good lord, this game loves backtracking. Like, like halfway in there. It's really deep. Yeah, it's just getting right there. <sighs> Jesus. Like, a little bit of backtracking is okay, but I notice there's, like, a lot of wasting time in this game as well. Yeah, yeah. But it gets you to explore places, you know, make sure you, you get everything, gets you experience, so that way you can get, you can level up. It's bad for pacing a let's play, but yeah, yeah, mm. whatever. Yeah, I still think that tournament arc was a bit of too much waste of time. I mean, it had intrigue, but still, you still had to fight your way up 30 ranks, for God's I sake. I still think the pig one was worse. Because that was literally backtrack, 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 backtrack. I'll give you that. Let's go to, go to the steeple, now go back to town, now go back to the steeple, now go back to town, now go back to the steeple! And now we're done here, they're going back to Rogueport. We're gonna follow them, and we're gonna save Don Pianta, and get a ticket, and go on the train. Poshley Heights to get our. <sighs> <laughs> Every time it happens, it do it never fails to make me laugh. It's the yeah wow 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 wow. Er, in the name of takes, love, takes the sting out of falling in the water, you know. A little bit at least. I can't wait to get a ticket onto the Mullentary Express. I love Professor Layton. He's got a ticket to ride. Love that effect. Basically, like, tearing off a sticker. Duh, no. Paper Mario should never touch stickers ever again. Why? Or paint. It was such a star when it had stickers. Yeah, it was definitely worth the $8 I spent on it. And then it quickly left my mind. I never thought about it ever since. See, Mario games nowadays just give him, like, a special ability. Like, the power to use stickers. The power to use paint. Or, now, in the latest one, the power to use arms. Because that's not origami in Origami King. They just gave him, like, Min Min's powers. Oh, catch him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go! We got to save the boss, Haluigi. Hey, Mario, I got another part of my story. You want to listen? So I was standing here, and, well, <laughs> I saw this boat c come out with a gigantic, scary, spooky ghost on it. I think he cursed me. I can now roll up into a cardboard tube. Oh, no! You didn't... <sighs> ah, no, I, I, there you go. I, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Nisky boy. Get out, old man bomb. Blow that sucker up. I guess you can't blow it up. What? That was that was two in front of. That yeah, was I was about to say. Of, there, we there we go. Shine sprite. Oh, that was Those it. These are everywhere. Oh, all right. And that's actually kind of cool that they hide that from sight. Yeah, I see how you f unfold these shops. That's brilliant. It's actually Frankie saying that. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, wake up, Daddy in law. <laughs> da Daddy, boss in law. Hey, we saved him. I love happy endings. Uh huh. Dropped everything. <clears throat> Yeah, I like the wedding ring.
Yeah, I could make a Yakuza joke, but this game predates the Yakuza series. <gasps> what? What happens if a... Uh, if, if a Pianta Mafia man wants to leave the business, they gotta chop off a pinky, right? Well, they don't really have pinkies, so they just gotta cut off the whole hand? Maybe the thumb. I don't know, because I was just about to ask that same question. What happens if a mafioso just leaves? Or retires, as it were. Oh, wait a minute. This is an E-rated game. I guess I just retire and nothing bad happens. He takes the mustache and the glasses off. There we go. By the way, I'm a chuckster. <laughs> ah! Yeah. I love that emphasis. What did you guys do? The Excess Express. It turns out getting a uh, trigger for this thing isn't really all that hard. Oh. I own it, Mario. Now come on, join me on my Express. We got a train ticket! Okay. Man, what a stand up guy. It's like. An evil, centuries-old ghost, a hardened mafia criminal, they're all good guys! I'm gonna make friends with ghosts and mafia criminals all the time now. Mario has taught us the power of friendship and retirement. And when people blow up, they come back! <laughs> That's how it works. Thanks, Bobbery. <laughs> Getting all when... my life lessons from Mario games. <laughs> and when old bombs drink their final soda, they just go to sleep. They don't actually die. That's your name? Francisca. Oh shit, the new head of the mafioso. Great. First thing we need weapons. A whole bunch of guns. Get to work on that. We're gonna make these streets a bloodbath. Let's take down those Koopa motherfuckers once and for all, you hear? You step out the out the shop and there's a drive-by, just... <laughs> I'm a great boss! <laughs> so yeah, no problem, right? We can just uh, take a little trip on the train and have a... Uh-oh. Hello, door. <laughs> Worse. Oh. Oh, great. Now the shadow sirens know where we're going, so we gotta hurry up and beat them there. Time to kill a ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh, that's nice. Hey, Cortez! What, what, what will it be? Could you take care of this, in, this annoying little. <laughs> no problem! <laughs> ah, light work! It's about time! Rogue Port Station, here we come! Well, I think that'll, uh. Yeah, that'll about do it for today. So go ahead and hit. Go ahead and save here, and then next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we're gonna head on the Excess Express and make our way to Poshley Heights to get the Six Star. That's gonna be a real fun time. We can't wait to see you there, and... Gup. Uh, well, next up we're gonna check an email, and then we're gonna go on top of the, on the, on the train, so see you next time! <laughs> Bye!